Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, today we will talk about merging multiple indicator cluster surveys, different data sets that are provided by UNICEF. Um, they, here is a list of some of the data sets that are generally available, not in all versions of the data sets, but um, in most cases, these are the data sets that are available. Um, and uh, this video that I'm recording right now is in continuation with my last video in which I explained the functions of append and merge commands in Stata. And today we will use Stata to merge some of these files that are mentioned here. I will be using uh, Mix Punjab, Pakistan. And this is these are the data sets that are available. The list that you saw in the Word document is a little bit longer. There are some data sets that are not available in Pakistan, for example, FG and uh, TN, they are, they are not available. But uh, the purpose of this video is to make you understand how a data set looks like and how to merge them. So I, we don't really care if all of the data sets are available. Um, if you haven't watched my previous video, on merging and appending, I highly recommend that you watch that before. I explained it in a little bit more detail of what merging function is and how data sets look like and what you can do with them so that you have some fair idea of what you want to do before you actually proceed with this. Okay. So what, uh, okay, one more thing. Uh, I will put the link to this Word file in the description so that you have, this is from UNICEF's website. So so that you have some idea about what these data sets are. And also if you scroll down to the bottom, I'm not sure if you can see this on your screen. I'll try to restore it to a reasonable size. There we go. So it shows you very neatly what data set contains what, right? So there are some data sets mentioned here and it's it is showing us that this is a household level questionnaire. This is for women. This is for children. So if you see these data sets, these names, it means that these are for women. If you see these data sets, let me scroll to the right. Then this is this one is for children. This one is for men age 15 to 49. This one is for children 5 to 17. So it explains very nicely what these data sets contain and also some of the main indicators that are contained in these files. So this is very important and useful um, document uh, for you to follow when you want to use it for your research. Okay, So let's open uh, some files and try to understand what is going on here. Okay, So we have this data set open and I will go here and browse data. All right, so here we have data set with many, 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 many variables, okay? What we are interested in for the exercise that we have today is the following. Look on the right-hand side of your screen. We have HH1 here, and it explains what this is. This is a cluster number. Cluster is, you can very, in layman's term, you can imagine a neighborhood. So when an enumerator, the person who is doing a survey, he goes to a neighborhood to ask questions to some people, right? So this is the neighborhood in very layman's terms uh, in which the survey uh, is being conducted right now. So there are multiple households in a neighborhood, let's say 20. And this cluster number tells us that uh, this is the uh, number of the neighborhood. So for example, in HH1, we have one repeating here. So this is, this is repeating 20 times. It means that this data set um, is, by the way, HH data set, it belongs to the household. It only contains information that are relevant to the household itself. It's not about individuals. It's about the household, characteristics of the household. Is it in the urban area? Does it have water supply? Um, whether this household was selected for water testing, you can see all these variables right here, right? Um, whether this household owns cattle, sheep, uh, all these kind of, what kind of cooking fuel is being used in the household. So this is a household level data set. This is why you have 
one observation per household. How do I know this? Because household ID, so HH2 is household number. Household number or household ID is not repeating here. It will repeat here, you know, household ID 1 here, household ID 1 here as well. But the difference is that this household ID 1 is in neighborhood, neighborhood 2. This is a completely different neighborhood. So whenever there is a new neighborhood in which we are conducting a survey, we restart the numbering for households. So in the first neighborhood that we had, we had 20 households that are mentioned here and enumerators went there, collected data uh, for all these kind of things that I've mentioned just now very randomly, very quickly. Those, those informations are recorded for the uh, individually for each household. So this is a neighborhood in layman's terms and this is the ID of the household. So if I want to know if the first household in the first neighborhood did they were they in the urban area or the rural area the answer is here right main source of drinking water WS1 right so we can actually do something um, click this press control and click this and this as well okay and now I will right click and show only selected variables right so it is only showing me the uh, neighborhood ID household ID and whether they have what kind of water supply do they have right so here you can find the codes for it uh, you can use some commands to have actually have a look for what kind of information is stored in here so we are not going there what we want to understand is that this data set has unique information for each household so this was the household data let's go and have a look at uh, women's data for example okay so this is women's data Let, let's open this one and see what's inside here we go same thing as before we have hs1 is a cluster number neighborhood that we had before you can see that previously we had 20 neighborhood IDs now we have 17 what's going on I'll explain in a minute household number two household number two have you seen something that I was mentioning before here you have multiple household IDs what it means is that previous data set that we opened was household data set so every observation that we had what kind of water does the household use of course there is one water supply there so what kind of uh, fuel cook uh, uh, fuel they use for cooking do they have electricity or not do they have computer or not what kind of assets do they have it's one uh, observation per household here we have multiple observations uh, so we have to understand why why is this the case this is a women's data so it means that we have one observation per woman so it's quite possible that there are multiple women in a household right which is the case here so if you look at this WM3 this is the women's line number it is women's uh, ID in a sense right so LN and this these are the two same things the the names are different because they use it for merging right so this is how uh, so we'll use this one WM3 and this is the ID for women so you have three and four in the same household so these are two different women living in the same household for this four is different from this four obviously because this woman this woman is living in household number three in neighborhood number one and you will also notice that there is no household number one here in household ID in household data set we saw that HS2 had number one household number one as well let me bring that up here we have household data set this one right here and we can see that HS2 is here uh, HS2 equal to one is here though so the household ID one is available but if you go here in women's data set it's not available the reason is that um, women's data set is for a particular age group and it's quite possible then that when enumerators go to a household 
that household might not have uh, relevant uh, women in the same age group. So that household is omitted from the women's data set because there is no women available. So they don't have any information for that. That's why that household is missing here. So I hope that it is clear. Similar to the uh, household data set, now we can have a look at some of the indicators that we have. Uh, let's say we, I will select this and this and this uh, by controlling, by uh, pressing control. Age of a woman ever attended school, just these three and show only. Okay, so ever attended school, this first woman, yes, her age is 33. Second one is age 28, living in the same household. She also went to school. This one did not go to school. She also lives in the same neighborhood, but different household. Her ID is two. Okay, so this is how this data set is constructed. Now, if you want something to do with women's data set, for example, if I want to see if um, women's uh, health is dependent on water what type of water they do they use we don't have water variable here for example water variable is available by the way as we saw here so we have ws1 it's the same data set mixed data set for punjab but it's in the different file it's in hs file so what we have to do we have to merge these files so that each individual woman is matched with the pipe water supply type that is used in her household. So this household information should be placed in front of these women right here. So just to uh, give you a perspective of what we are doing, since these two women are living in the same household, and here we can see already that household number two in neighborhood number one was is using pipe water right so this pipe water should repeat for these two because these are two different individuals but living in the same household so both uh, the same household characteristics apply to these both women in the previous video i explained how uh, different types of merge work so you, you can go back and check here we we are using women's data as the master file master file is the one on which we are working right now okay so we will use this command merge and remember that uh, we uh, we do not have women's id in the household data set okay here we have a household id women's id is not available here so we have to use household's id to merge with the merge this data with the women's file uh, and what you have noticed here is that household id is repeating this was not the case in hh dta in hh dta household id was not repeating per neighborhood right so we we have to make sure that we incorporate this information right here so we are in women's data since household ids are repeating i have to say that there are many household id household ids or combination of variables that i'm going to use in this file that I'm that I have opened right now in women's data set household ID is repeating so this is the this is what it means and in the household data set hs.dta I'm going to use that as a using file and in that data set there is only one observation per household so merge m colon one one means that this criteria I'm going to write this criteria this hs1 and hs2 i need to define both of them because i showed you that hs1 keeps on increasing one two three four five but for each hs1 the household id starts uh, restarts from one so if i just write hs2 this data will be confused that one uh, household number one in neighborhood one it this data will confuse it with household number one in neighborhood two we don't want that we want uh, data to be sure that these are completely different households even though their ids are the same but they they belong in the different neighborhoods so we have to define neighborhood as well as uh, uh, household id okay uh, and just going back again so this combination of 
neighborhood and household ID is unique in the using file. Using file is the, is the HS data set. And this is not unique in this file that is open right now. It is the women's data. So now I will define using file. Using. And I will copy this from here. Because my files are in the same path. So I can simply copy paste the same directory and uh, change this to HH. Okay. And this was uh, wrongly copied. We are merging women's data with, with her household data. Let's try. All right. So it says that uh, 79,000 something uh, values uh, were matched, which is good. There were 6,186 values that did not match. What does that mean? It means in uh, like five minutes ago, I just told you that there are some cases, for example, in the, the household number one is missing, right? We do not have household number one here. The reason is that there was no, no woman available. However, in in this household data set, HS data set, we did have household number one. So household number one is not matched with women's data because there is no women living in the in household number one. That's why it is uh, household number one in neighborhood number one is one of those 6,186 individual uh, observations that are not matched. And this is a very handy variable uh, that is created by Stata at the very end, this one, which tells you that if this variable equals to one, it means that there were, uh, there were observations that were not matched from master data, which is not the case. There were, if it is equal to two, it means that these are the observations that were not matched from using data. And if it is equal to three, it, that's our best friend. It means that uh, this, these observations were uh matched okay so let's look at the data once again let's show all variables and then i will select this one this one this one this one and where is ws one here it is okay and then we only show selected variables so now we have water for uh, water type used by each woman in their respective household. So we have merged household ID, household data set with women's data set successfully. And as I said before, uh, household number two in neighborhood number one was using Pi Fortress. So we needed this to repeat for women number three and women number four. And this is what has happened here. Okay. So this is how we merge data sets. Uh, and if you want to go even further, you can also merge this with child data that uh, if you want to include, if you want to do research on children and you want to merge uh, children's data with their mothers and their mother's data with their households, you can also go one step further and merge child's data also with this file right here. So it will combine all of them together and then you can do regression analysis or whatnot. Okay, I hope that uh, this video was useful. And if you have any questions, do let me know. If you want some more videos on this kind of topics, I, am, I will be happy to do it. Thank you very much.